Hey everybody, I'm Angie from Well Seasoned Gourmet Food Store and I'm excited to be at One Fish, Two Fish today. If you've <laughs> never been to One Fish, Two Fish, you are missing out. They are my favorite and our most um, capable uh, local uh, fishmonger and they are 100% ocean wise. This is my friend Heather, this is her shop and Heather knows absolutely everything there is to know about seafood in general. I need my best. She does, she does a lot. Her best is pretty great. Uh, and she's also um, an expert. I'm going to call you an expert. You might not agree, but I'm, she's an expert in halibut. Heather sells tons, literally tons of halibut every single year. So I call her an expert because I've been here and watched her cut up literally hundreds of pounds of halibut. So we are celebrating all things local, as we do, and today I want to talk about uh, BC halibut. Excellent. Halibut season is open. It is. Right now. How long is the season? Uh, usually it ends, uh, mid, uh, it's March, sort of middle of March to the middle of uh, uh, November. Okay. This year they've actually extended it to the beginning of um, December, so uh, we've got a little bit longer this year. Um, I think you know, their numbers are tracking well, so. Yeah, so yeah. that means there's a lot of fish in the ocean and uh, people are catching good numbers. The fishery is totally sustainable. Absolutely. Uh, they spend a lot of time and effort making sure that the fish is sustainable and that we've got an opportunity to have stock for future generations, which is amazing. So we're featuring a cooking class, um, Heather, talking about how to cut, or how to cook all the cuts of halibut. So can you show everybody, uh, I've watched you do this, and this is one of those videos that I can watch Heather uh, break down a fish for hours. I find it so fascinating, and she's so fast and so good. So I'm going to ask you to maybe slow it down a little bit and take us through how you break down a whole fish. Okay. So this is a fresh halibut that you received today? Yep. Yeah, and it's about 11 pounds? Uh, about 11 pounds, yeah. Okay, cool. So where do you even start with this guy? Um, so I would start at the collar. So the head would be here. And so one of the pieces of the halibut would be a halibut cheek, which is in the head of the halibut. So that would be about right here, and you cut it out. Um, they're just usually small, so a fish of this size, we get a halibut cheek about that big. Not very big, um, but they're delicious. So that would, be, that would be the equivalent to the oyster on a piece of, on a whole chicken. So exactly. it's like, uh, like a cook's treat. It's the most delicious part, I think, yeah. of, uh, of the halibut. Yeah, they always go quickly when we have them. I'm sure the they do. It's, uh, it's a great treat. So I always start at the collar, um, cutting off the collar. And then this part here, so this is the inside where all of the, the entrails would be. Um, so I cut off the collar. And then if I'm going to be staking a fish, I would take it out of here because the steaks are going to have bone in them to right. begin with. And then there's usually a few bones coming up the side, so it's just more cool. Over here, this is sort of the center prime section where we do fillets mostly. So we would fillet this portion and also the tail portion. Uh, some people would like steaks out of the full section, which is absolutely fine, but we usually just stake the front end. It's your um, fish, cut it, it cut it however you I want it. I cut it however you want it. Yeah, but so. I love the filet part. This is my yeah. favorite part of the fish. And I do love uh, the cheeks, obviously, but yeah. they're not as easy to find. No, we get in uh, batches of them only once in a while. So it's not something that's that's quite normal. Yeah, there's only it's two just, per fish. There's only two per yeah. fish. It takes a lot to get a 20 pound order in. Yeah. So, but when okay. we do get it, it's a great treat. Cool. So. So this is the uh, this is the side that um, when the fish is swimming they swim sort of flat. So yes. this is the side that's not exposed to light. Exactly. And then on this side of the fish where it's dark, this is the side of the fish that's exposed to light. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So. All right. So shall we go? Let's shall do this. Go for it? All right. All right. All right. Well, I start this way. So, um, some people take the fins off first. I don't. Um, I do it all. Day. So this is the collar removal. This is the collar removal, which the collar has lots of good uses. Some people will make chowder out of it. Mm -hmm. um, some people will just steam them. Steam them in a steamer basket with some uh, sesame oil yeah, and yeah. some uh, um, uh, soy sauce. It's delicious. It's still really bony, so it's a little bit pickier to eat, but yeah. it's a delicious result when it's cooked. Yeah. But the meat in here is so tender and yeah. lovely. We have we have quite a column for them. Oh really? Yeah. They're a big seller. They are. That's good. We sell well. We sell them all as um, 
all of the trim together as one. So okay. you can do whatever you like from it. So with steaks, um, we usually do them about an inch thick. Everybody has kind of their own preference, but we can do whatever works. So these, I think, are steaks more common or the fillet more common? No, the fillets are definitely more common. Yeah. Uh, years ago, it was all steaks, that's all the time, but now it's definitely the fillets, people don't like the bone. Right. So, yeah. Which is, you know, fair. So on the steak, excuse me, Heather, mm -hmm. on here, the bone runs right through it. So essentially it's like a, I mean, I want to say it's like a T-bone steak. Mm -hmm. You have two beautiful pieces of meat on the side of the bone, yeah. right? So the bone runs right down the center. But when yeah. you cook it properly, the bone's really easy to remove. Oh, it just, it just falls pops right, right out. Down. So yeah. you shouldn't be afraid of a steak. It's not yeah. as pretty a cut as the uh, filet, but it's still totally worth, oh, it worth is. cooking and, and buying. I mean, sure. there's still something you said that people that eating the, the halibut off, or fish, or any kind of meat off of a bone has been replaced. For sure. Yeah. So, yeah. so then, do a couple more steaks here. This Let's fish smells so incredibly fresh. Oh, it is. It's just beautiful. It's got that sweetness. Mm -hmm. I love the sweetness. Yeah. Is halibut your favorite eating mm -hmm. fish, Heather? It's one of them. Yeah. It's one of them. Yeah. It's one I, of mine, uh, too. I definitely, I definitely enjoy it. I mean, it's so versatile. You can do so many things with it. The flavor um, is delicate. So, um, yeah, I yeah, love it. it takes on flavor really well, yeah. and yep. it can adapt to all kinds of recipes. Yep. You know, Asian recipes, uh, North American style, really strong flavors. It's, yeah. it's a really beautiful fish, and there's it enough is. fat in it that it's kind of. I don't want to say it's forgiving because you can still overcook it. Yeah, you definitely can. But it's um, it doesn't dry out as easily as some other. Fish. No, not really. I mean. Uh, like, I mean, when I'm cooking it, I always like to sort of put a little bit of, you know, fat or oil on it just to yeah. give it a little bit more, more foolproof so that, you know, <laughs> if, uh, you know, my guests are, we're chatting or, you know, yeah, having, having a glass of wine or right. something. It happens to yeah, the best of us. So, uh, for us, we usually cut it into about two person portions, but, I mean, I'm just going to do what we would regularly do in our display, uh, and that way... Most people, when eating halibut, some people say that you want a smaller portion because it is a really meaty, it's a meatier, meatier, fish, meaty, yeah. meatier rich. So usually like six six ounces is, is a pretty good portion size. Uh, this is so, a beautiful fish. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it's so good. fresh. Like the skin feels firm and it's really a beautiful fish. It really is. Yeah. The, um, my favorite part about a halibut is when you're cutting it, it's almost like a quadrant. Like so. We cut it into squares, um, right down. It's it's like yeah, it's like colored fine sections there for sure. Sorry. So you're cutting right along the right along the spine. The, yeah, right along the spine. Yeah. There's actually a line, so it's just sort of cut by numbers. Is how I. How long have you been cutting fish, Heather? <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, a few years. Let's few just years. Let's just. <laughs> we can probably go in the in the low thirties. Yeah. Yeah. There's cut up a lot of halibut <laughs> here at Twin Fish Two Fish. They have a huge halibut sale once a year, and literally Heather's. You know how many yeah. thousands of pounds do you sell? Uh, we do about ten thousand pounds, <laughs> eight to ten thousand pounds each year for our sale. So she can and break down a halibut faster than anybody I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, my staff when they they see it, they're like, oh. I was like, yeah. You'll get I just there. let you. I just let you guys do it. You'll get there. <laughs> wow, this is. Uh, I, I'm just. I love watching you do this. I can wow. watch you for hours. So and and there's. I mean, there's still a little bit of meat in here. So when you're making your chowder, it just breaks down well. Or making a stock, a stock. And yeah. we do. Um, uh, we like our stock is made out of halibut that we sell in the store. So. So and then, now you're going to break this one down into yeah. portions. And do you always leave the skin on, Heather, or do you take the we skin do, off? We, we do leave the skin on, but we always, I mean, everybody can ask to take it off. We have no problem. Sure. You can always customize whatever works for everybody. So, then we just cut off this little ends here. Make sure there's, take off any extra little bone pieces there. And you're good to go. So that would be like a two-person portion, like a good two-person portion. That's a very or generous two-person yeah. portion. <laughs> well, I eat a lot, so um, how big? Like a six ounce portion. So a six. That's about a six ounce right. portion. So that'd be like about a six, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Okay. You know, 
All right, I'll thick. stick with you. But well, it's a thick. Yeah, I like. I can. Hey, I can eat a big piece of halibut too. Food is good. Okay, so this fish has a tag on it, and I was asking Heather earlier about the tag. It's a Wild Pacific halibut tag, and the fisherman tags this at sea, right? That's correct. So this tag is how they track the quota. The quota, and uh, where it's been caught. Um, who caught it? And who caught it? Yeah. Um, for their quotas for the year, and then it kind of all goes into a, a database. And this is so how they ensure the sustainability of the halibut so that we make sure we have halibut for future generations. So if you're buying a halibut off a dock somewhere or something, make sure it's got the uh, wild Pacific halibut or it probably hasn't been legally caught. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, those <laughs> tags are really important. They are. Okay, back to the fillets. All those right. are gorgeous. Yes. So typically out of an 11 or 12 pound halibut, what is the finished weight of um, pieces that people will will eat as full pieces? Um, as, so for trim, there's usually about three to four pounds of trim okay. off of a whole halibut um, of that size. Um, so, so you're like yeah, seven or eight seven pounds. Eight pounds. Okay. It's, not, it's not too bad. Um, the recovery, it's uh, sometimes a little bit more, but it, each fish is different. So each fish, some have bigger bones, some have bones. Like us. Yes. Like us. Yeah. Like, like so, people. Yeah, okay. Like people. So now, um, the uh, steaks are done, the fillets have come off the sort of, is that the belly piece, I guess, yes, and then the this belly. is the tail piece? Yeah, yeah. So the, the, center, the center section. The center section. Yeah. Yeah. So is this the money piece? Is this the most expensive? Are, no, they're all the same all price. The same like, price. All the same price. Well, okay. steaks are a little bit less. Because they've got bones. Because they've got bones. Right. Uh, but yeah, so these are these are the best, uh, I mean, these are the most prized pieces yeah. because, well, thickness and uh, cooking. They just look pretty. Yeah, they and they're so pretty. easy to cook because they're yeah. all so uniformly cut, right? So it cooks really well. Um, you mentioned a while ago that the bigger the fish doesn't mean it's better. No. The smaller, younger fish are actually better. Yeah, they have a little bit more sweetness to them, a little bit more tender. Um, and I mean, I find them easier to cook and easier to manage. Okay. Um, when when the halibut gets too thick, uh, it doesn't cook in the center. Right. It's hard. And it's hard to cook, and and then it toughens on the outside. I mean, my favorite size fish would probably be like 18 to 20 pounder. Of halibut? Yeah, that's okay. my favorite, my favorite Good size. But uh, usually between, we get them usually between 10, we get them between 10 and 20, but okay. um, 15, 15 is kind of our okay. average kind okay. of sizing. So how are you going to handle the tail now? Um, now, see, here, if I could take another steak off of here, I'll do it, I'll do it just because, because we're back to bones. Well, we still have bones, but right. the, uh, but uh oh, me. Uh, put your right. She has no weight, so I was gonna say put the weight in it, but she has no weight. <laughs> so yeah, so this would be sort of a center section state, and so it's still the bone is just right down the center here. So so yes, this tail also makes one of wonderful, and so we keep all these tails. Why? Because um, I, if there was any kind of issue at all, I can track back each fish that we use. So, so do you just have a giant bucket of these in your office? Well, <laughs> and we get so excited because each year we never know what color it's going to be. Oh. I have a rainbow of colors. It's like a lottery. And we have, well, we have, um, we made a Christmas tree out of the halibut tanks. <laughs> we did. Oh. Yeah. Hashtag fish life, right? Yeah, that's we awesome. also, we also make um, vases out of fish heads, but we don't. Okay, that's another uh, video altogether <laughs> that I think probably would involve some wine. Oh, I think probably. I think probably. <laughs> okay, so, so where are you putting your knife? So I'm putting my knife right along the center bone on the right hand side because the bone is, the bone as you can see is almost like a triangle or like a, an octagon or octagon, is that it? Anyway, <laughs> whatever. It has four sides. Diamond, that's the one I'm looking for. So you're just jumping over that same bone Jump, and yeah. you're just following the natural just, line. Yeah, just follow the natural line. Yeah. And then same on the other side. Wow, there is hardly any fish left on these bones. It's um it's definitely a steel boning out fish. Um, Heather's done literally thousands of them, so she doesn't have a lot of waste, but um, I've seen some amateur fishermen uh, do some damage to some beautiful
beautiful hell event, but you have to learn. Exactly. So, yeah, so this is another beautiful piece. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, depending on, see, this is pretty, quite even, still even for cooking, so it works really well. Uh, some people like the tails better because there's no chance of bone, like in a salmon, where there's no bones in the bottom of the salmon. Halibut's not really like that. Right structure. So if this but, was at my house, I would cut the tail part there just so it's more mm -hmm. evenly cooked. And then I would yeah. use this in a chowder or, yeah, yeah. or serve it maybe as a different dish. Yeah. You know, take yeah. the meat and serve it as a different yeah. dish. Um, and then, so if one wants to skin this yeah. deer halibut, oh boy. The, you would take it from the bottom. Then you need to start with a super sharp knife. Super sharp knife. knife. And you're going to hold it. You're gonna pull the fish and push your knife. So the salmon skin is essentially like leather. Or sorry, the yeah. halibut skin is like leather. It is really tough skin. Yeah. So you, um, it's not easy to take the skin off. It's a skill that you can learn. Yeah. But um, I mean, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It is. I would like a purse made out of that. <laughs> I'm slightly fish weird, but that's okay. <laughs> slightly fish weird. Okay, good job, Heather. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, do that one more time. All right, All right. just because I like watching it. <laughs> so that's the end of the fin there. Yeah. Perfect. So um, maybe we can get a bit close up and let uh, on the skin removal. Little tag, little tag in. You just need a piece to grab. Yes, exactly. Because you're not even going to touch the top of the fish. You're going to hold the skin. You're going to push your knife. You're like a surgeon. I am. I'm a surgical marine engineer. <laughs> yeah. That is our uh, proclaimed title. So um, we're going to be cooking this fish next uh, in our in our cooking class. Can you come join us? hope so. Okay, good. Hope so. I'm going to try. Okay, good. So yeah. um, there, we'll, we'll have some wine. You don't okay. have to do any work. Your work here is already done. So um, thanks for this little tutorial, Heather. It's really um, it's really great to see how fish uh, ends up on your table. And you don't really see that at the grocery store. So unless you know your fishmonger and can come in and talk to the fine folks here at One Fish, Two Fish and ask for your cut specifically, if it's not in the case, or order a whole halibut. Exactly, yeah. And then Heather will cut it to your specifications, and then you'll have halibut in your freezer. She vacuum seals it, yeah. and you'll have halibut in your freezer all year long. Yeah, it's such a good, it's a, it's a good, it's a good value. It's, yeah, it is. It's, it's the best value. way to buy halibut, and you're always assured you're getting excellent quality wild Pacific halibut, medium caught, super sustainable. So amazing. Yeah. Thanks, so, Heather. Yeah. Thanks Thank for being you. awesome. Thanks for coming. See you guys later. See you later.